to include as many people as possible in this dialogue, including you. Our Alexandra Lewis sat down today with longtime federal judge Walter Rice. You know, he's been working to improve race relations in Dayton for years. She now joins us live from the federal building downtown. Alex? Jack, Judge Rice told me today that these texts speak to the racism and just the misunderstanding overall in our community. Of course, there's no fast fix, but he says the beginning is pretty easy. You just have to start talking to someone, sharing your story with someone who doesn't look like you is a sign of a lack of respect. Judge Walter Rice says without knowing the deputies, it's unfair to call them racists, but says the text messages they wrote are disrespectful. It's a sign of uh, an ever-widening racial divide in this uh, country. I don't think uh, many white people have any understanding of the uh, decades, centuries, uh, distrust of police, uh, law enforcement in minority communities. When those distrusting folks wear a badge, their behavior is on display. The sheriff's doing what he can. He's uh, investigating it. He's disciplining people where he feels discipline is necessary. I'm confident that this sheriff will deal with this issue. Judge Rice says everyone has to be willing to talk to each other to curve the racism in our community. Interracial, intercultural dialogues in non judgmental environments. Beyond sensitivity training, Rice says all deputies need to have their own open dialogue with the people they serve. So uh, the deputies understand the life's experiences of the community members. Look what we've accomplished as a divided people. Look what we could do if we worked together. My God, we'd be unstoppable. Judge Rice said pretty bluntly today that Dayton is still extremely segregated and the first thing that we need to do to really bridge this gap, not only law enforcement, but everyone has to start communicating. Reporting live here in Dayton tonight, Alexandra Lewis, Fox 45 News.